this section we're going to look at difference quotients and the main thing is you have to be very careful with your algebra in this part. So we're going to do the difference quotient which is this expression um, for this problem and first I'm just going to find the f of x plus h. So what you have to do is plug the entire x plus h into every x. So I have 2, use parentheses, x plus h squared minus parentheses here, x plus h plus 3. We'll write this twice and do FOIL since it's a binomial. So we're going to get x squared on the outside plus xh, inside plus xh, your order doesn't matter there, and plus h squared. These two are like terms. Remember your coefficients, what you're combining. So you have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now I have a 2 outside that whole thing. So I'm going to have 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared. Okay. So this is the first part, the 2 times x plus h quantity squared. Now we will distribute the minus to our x plus h, so minus x minus h plus 3 and now we're going to go ahead and uh, keep going on the difference quotient and do minus f of x. So here is your f of x. You're going to distribute a minus in front of the whole thing. So it will just distribute to each term. So minus 2x squared um, plus x minus 3. So we need that to add on to the end there. I just shifted it slightly and I put this minus f of x here. The entire thing is over h. right? And now let's see what cleans up. Our 2x squared and our minus 2x squared cancels. Our minus x and plus x cancels. Our plus 3 and minus 3 cancels. And now I will rewrite. So I have 4xh plus 2h squared minus h all over h. And because h is in every term, you're allowed to divide it out. You could factor it out and cross off, or because it's in every one, you can just divide it out. And there will be no denominator. So you will have, um, let me mark it so you can see. So this h will go out, one of these will go out, and this will go out, but it will leave minus 1 because you're dividing. Right, so we have left 4x plus 2h minus 1. So you see you have to be really careful with the algebra. It's not a big deal, uh, but it is a matter of being careful. We have one more problem where we will do the same thing. So our first step is to find f of x plus h. So we will plug the f, x plus h into our x's. Right. Again on this binomial we'll do FOIL. I'm going to just backtrack a little bit. I'll go ahead and put my minus 2 times. Right. So I have x plus h times x plus h. We will do the FOIL inside the parentheses. So x times x is x squared. Right. Outside x times h is xh. 
inside hx or xh and plus h squared. Combine your like terms here so we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared and I'm going to distribute my minus 2 to all of that. So I have minus 2x squared minus 4xh minus 2h squared. All right, that takes care of our first piece. All right, and we're still working on this with the f of x plus h. So we have a plus outside the x plus h. That means it's not going to change it. I can just bring those separate pieces down. All right, this is f of x plus h. All right, now I'm going to do minus f of x. So that would mean to just distribute a minus in front of all of the f of x terms. So I'm going to write it up here. That would make positive 2x squared minus x. I'm going to put it at the end, positive 2x squared minus x. All right now, a difference quotient always goes over h. And then we'll combine like terms. So um, our minus 2x squared and plus 2x squared are going to cancel. Our plus x and minus x are going to cancel. Minus 4xh minus 2h squared plus h. It's all over h. And again, we have h in every term, so we can divide that out. Here it will take an exponent off, and here it will leave you 1. So we have minus 4x minus 2h plus 1.